Finally tonight, our Making a Difference report comes to us from Muncie, Indiana. It's the story of one family that truly believes it's better to give than to receive. And this holiday season, they're inspiring a lot of others in town to do the very same thing. We get their story tonight from NBC's John Yang. You have approximately 40 minutes. Before sunrise one recent Saturday, Al Holdren gathered hundreds of volunteers for a little Christmas shopping. You gonna do something good today? His army of Santa's helpers bought cartloads of gifts. It's cute. In a car dealer's showroom turned into a busy workshop, they wrapped them and then delivered them to needy families across Indiana's Delaware County, complete with trees for them to go under, all in a single day. This is the first time we ever gonna have a real tree. It's hard work, but for Holdren, it makes Christmas special. I know that a thousand people had Christmas because all my friends got together. For his teenage daughters, it's more exciting than the day itself. Is today better than Christmas Day? Oh, by far, yeah, time's set. It began eight years ago. Holdren and his wife, Chris, had some extra cash and instead of spending it on themselves, decided to help a family in need. 400 bucks. This year, they raised more than $100,000 for their Secret Families charity, enough to help 180 families, all selected by local school officials. When somebody's giving something to us, as much as we love that, it's such a much better feeling to, to give. That feeling has proved infectious. For many, it's an annual tradition. By coming here today, we all just feel that, that we can add a little something. Like Santa's elves, most of the 800 volunteers never see the final step, the deliveries. Hello. Hi. Rhonda Caldwell's a single mom with three sons. It wasn't just one bag of presents. They just kept coming and coming. The amount of generosity there was overwhelming. It's a blessing. Thank you. Moments that also move the givers. When you see the genuine emotion and how appreciative people are for what we do, it's, it's 10 times better than Christmas Day. Providing a Merry Christmas for those who otherwise might not have one. <laughs> John Yang, NBC News, Muncie, Indiana. Oh, the ornaments? No shortage of nice people in our country. We just have to keep telling their stories. That's our broadcast for this Wednesday night. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Brian Williams, and of course, we hope to see you right back here tomorrow evening. Good night.